When you plug in your earphones and escape your reality for a split second, one often forgets the people who work on the creation and the lingering sound that soothes our souls. Producing a hit track is not merely walking into the studio and telling the producer, here's my song. Producers spend months, if not years, engineering the sound behind the hard hit lyrics you hear on your favorite music channel. Welcome to Who The Segment, where we take a look at the life of an artist, looking at who they are and what they really do. Sam Bataleni Nigungo, also known as Samily Jones, is the man with the magic fingers behind the top-ranking music tracks of Namibian local artists such as of Gaza, Black Sheep, Swazis, and Blossom, to name only a few. The producer is multi-talented as he holds an associate's degree, B. Juries in Law. The man behind the name, born and raised in Welvish Bay, Sam E. attended Naraval Primary School and completed his high school at Welvish Bay Private High School. His musical journey began as he, along with his cousin, formed a rap group called The Low Rider when they were all still in primary school. They emulated the likes of Matongo family and B2K, who at the time were pioneers in the music industry. The name Sam E derives from his birth name, Sam. However, the Lee Jones was added by a friend and this became his signature name. I'm, I'm Sam Lee Jones. I am from Morfis Bay. I'm a multi-award winning producer, artist, and DJ. Um, yeah, I just make music. Um, basically, that's what I am. Yeah. What made you decide, okay, let me just focus completely on the music and, you know... Well, it's not focusing yeah. completely on the music. It's it's one of those other things that you yeah. just do. It's just fortunate enough or unfortunate enough that it draws attention, basically. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the equivalent of you playing golf on the weekend or, you know, playing soccer on the weekend. It's just what I do, at least, mm -hmm. draws attention. But it's just something I love doing. It's part of me. I can't let it go, you know. It, it's something, and over the years, it doesn't really that much take up uh, um, a lot of time because over the years, I've managed to actually be able to do it very quickly and it doesn't take up much a lot of my time yeah yeah um you started as a hip-hop producer but i would say you are mostly known for your kwaito and house Afro music beats and yeah house as well these days yeah i mean i started as as as, as a rapper and a hip-hop producer i started as a rapper first mm -hmm. um no one wanted to make beats for us um so i begged my mom and then i got a computer which had like maybe 16 gig hard yeah. drive and then I started making beats on those, hip-hop beats mostly. And then in my senior year of high school, mm -hmm. I made an experiment to see whether how I could do house music. Mm -hmm. So my thing was just I was going to do house music, 10 tracks. It was just supposed to be a once-off, 10 tracks, and then release it out as an experiment. And then it caught on fire my first year of university. Um, I started hearing it everywhere in the hostel. Mm -hmm. And that's just how it took off. Um, but for me, I feel like you can't put yourself in a genre. Music is just music, yeah. you know. It's just whatever you feel like doing, that's what you're going to do. The producer says that during the initial stages of his career, finding fully furnished studios was a challenge. We had to make do with simple mics and computers. At the time, there was a lack of knowledge but he says that having access to the artist he desired to work with was by far his greatest challenge. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment below to tell us what you think. Also, check out our other videos right here.